What if I told you that by being in the outdoors, we can not only change landscapes, but people too? That's my mission. Because through getting young people involved in the outdoors, I believe we can change the world. Now, across the world, young people are actively taking positive action for the planet. There's never been a more important time to actively listen to and involve young people, especially in today's society. But how can we expect young people to take positive action for the planet if they've had little to no experience and time with being in the outdoors? Well, that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. But before we get started, I can already tell that you guys are probably thinking to yourselves, who is this 14-year-old and why is he on stage today? So this is a bit about me. When I was nine years old, I planted my very first tree ever. It was a life-changing opportunity and experience for me and kind of brings me to where I am today. And ever since then, I've really pushed for that connection with myself to the outdoors and with the natural world. I started volunteering more and more, finding new connections and being with new people. And where I am today, I'm currently working with, alongside other young people to make positive action with like-minded youth to create the sustainable future that we want. So back to the story. How can we expect young people to take positive action for the planet that have little to no time and experience being in the outdoors? Well, the answer is more simple than you think, and it's broken into three key aspects. Education. Educating young people about the issues we face, such as the climate crisis, plastic pollution, the biodiversity loss, so that they can help behind the theory of creating the solutions that we need. Two, opportunities. Giving young people opportunities to, to be able to experience what it's like to be on the forefront of finding solutions and really building this connection hand in hand. And three, encouragement. Encouraging the next generation to really push for that connection with the outdoors and make it fun, exciting and positive. So let's get started with my first point, education. In nature, children think, question and make hypotheses, which allows them to develop inquisitive minds. Whether they're judging the distance between two rocks before jumping or debating which branch on a tree can hold their body weight, children are constantly thinking when they're in nature. And these experiences offer real, authentic learning like nothing else can. As children try, fail, try again, they are building resilience and confidence. Researchers at North Carolina State University and Clemson University studied on the importance of the connection and development of their relationship with the outdoors. So at this point, learning can shift from the immediate home and school environments as children become more aware and appreciative of other surroundings. At this stage, children can gain knowledge, understand ideas, and question actions, which means that we should be pushing for student-directed experimental and action-based learning. With children who are 11 years and around that age and younger, the importance of the development of the natural world and themselves at this age is particularly crucial for shaping both environmental attitudes and behaviors in adulthood. Without this, they never get to experience what it's like to be in the outdoors. They don't get to understand the gifts and the natural art of what the outdoors can hold. However, when it comes to students in their second year years or 13 years and over, they want to focus more on becoming active citizens. So what I mean by this is that they want to learn how society works, how democracy works, how policies can be enforced, so that they can start thinking ahead about how we actually can be creating the solutions and how we can enforce them into our day-to-day -day lives. So integrating ideas, well, integrating social, political, and economic ideas um, into environmental education can also help them think long-term and ahead about social sustainability answers and solving ecological long-term. Environmental education should not only be about teaching young people about particular views, but developing their capabilities to participate in society. As a secondary school student, I can tell you how important it is to really push for this connection and really encourage young people to actually take action for the planet and to incorporate these ideas into our curriculum. 
which leads me to my second point, opportunities. We want to inspire, support, and empower young people to take action for the planet, making sure it's meaningful and positive. We need to be creating spaces, programs, and resources for young people so that they can actually get involved. Researchers at David Suzuki Foundation asked Canadian youth between the ages of 13 and 20 to tell them about their experiences in the outdoors. Some of their key findings were that youth who are 16 years and over are spending more time outdoors than those younger. Perhaps this is because parents are a bit more relaxed around restrictions at this age. Other findings were that youth who had been involved in programs that got them out and about and into nature spend more time than those who have never been out and experienced it. Although a lack of time and money and those sorts of barriers are what can be stopping young people to take action and be in the outdoors, but we need to be factoring in these to make sure it's accessible for everyone. Which leads me to my third point, encouragement. We can give young people the education, the opportunities, and the resources to be in the outdoors, but we can't make them get out into nature. But if we can make it fun, exciting, and positive, then we can inspire and make them optimistic about the true art and the wonders of the outdoors. And all of which comes back to highlighting all of the benefits and the gifts that nature has to offer. For instance, the Department of Conservation of New Zealand said, time in nature led to significant improvements in mood, reduced anger and aggression, and better recovery from mental fatigue compared with walking in the urban setting or magazine reading. Ministry of Health of New Zealand also said, regular physical activity is one of the most important lifestyle behaviours to incorporate in daily routines for optimising health and quality of life. Being physically active contributes positively to adults' mental health, particularly to reduce depressive symptoms and stress, as well as improved mood. The science is here, and the message has never been clearer. Kids need nature. Parents, doctors, teachers, engineers, we all need nature. Which is why I believe that through the power of connecting young people to the outdoors, we can create the leaders and change makers of tomorrow. Thank you.